Hi, I'm Erin Luby, and welcome to Delta College. I'm a local news anchor, but when I was a student, I took classes here at Delta that helped prepare me for a career in broadcasting. Now, as a new student, you've probably already figured out which parking lot is closest to where you need to be and which rooms you'll be attending classes in. But chances are, as a new student, there are also a lot of services here at Delta that you don't know about yet. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to take you inside Delta College and show you some of the places that make Delta a wonderful place to learn and get an education. So if you're ready to get started, why don't we head inside? Delta has an awesome library, also called the LLIC. And since chances are you'll be there from time to time, why don't we head here first? All right, here we are. Take a good look around because this is a place that can really help you succeed in college. Your instructors might bring you here as a class, but you should also come here on your own. The library shouldn't be intimidating, and in case you need help getting oriented, you'll want to visit the Tutoring Center, also called the TLC. Now, the TLC is a place where you can get all of the free help you need in any class. And in case that doesn't convince you, studies show that students who use the Tutoring Center are oftentimes the most successful. All right, let me introduce you to some people who can help. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, welcome to the Teaching Learning Thank Center. Thank you very much. I'm showing new students around campus, and we're wondering what kind of help can students get here, and what can you do for them? Our primary service is walk-in tutoring. Mm -hmm. Students don't need an appointment. All they need is their ID card and their class materials. They come up to our desk here and they'll be signed in, seated with the tutor, and be ready to go. But we have two programs that are attached to classes outside the center. Uh, one is structured learning assistance, which is attached, a tutor is attached particularly to developmental classes and holds study sessions just for that class. And it's listed right in the schedule book along with the class time. How does a student sign up for that? If you are in a, a developmental class, you will have an SLA leader. Okay. And what is the difference that these students see in taking part in that? Overall, students who participate in a program like that will see grades anywhere from a half a grade to a whole grade higher on their tests and on their final grades. What are some of the biggest concerns or questions that a new student might have? They wonder, can they help me with this class? Yes, we can work with most classes across the curriculum and if we don't have a tutor who can work with it, we will try to do our best to find you some help somewhere. Is there anything else that you'd like new students to know about the tutoring center before they start class? Come at the first inkling that you're not quite comfortable with what you're doing, that you don't understand what the instructor wants or what the content is. Uh, don't wait. I came out to Delta College after being out of high school 26 years and when I started here um, I was having some trouble in my classes. Um, I did my initial orientation online and was unfamiliar with the services. When I first came to the library I felt the whole thing very intimidating and overwhelming because of the size. Needing help I came to the TLC and uh, got the tutoring I needed. It was very very helpful to get me through my first math class and then uh, subsequently I had uh, used it for many other classes. The uh, services out here have been uh, more than exceptional for uh, my development and my uh, learning at Delta College. I guess you can see why I brought you here. Now let me tell you about another free service that Delta provides, the Academic Testing Center. This is where you come if you need to make up a test you missed. Just be ready to show your Delta ID. Okay, let's take another quick look around. You can see all of the computers available for use here, as well as computer labs, private study tables, and copy machines. Well, chances are, while you're here at the library, you're going to need help finding things from time to time. And I know just the person who can help out. Hey, Janine. Hi, Erin. How you doing? I'm showing new students around the library today, and we're hoping you can tell us a little bit about what the library has to offer. Well, the library has a lot to offer. Not only can you find the traditional resources you'd think you'd find in a library, we have additional resources that help you succeed in college here. We have a really great website that students can go to when they need research help or assignment help. Plus, it helps them access all of our online databases that we purchase here at Delta. Plus, we have all sorts of scholarly journals 
in all fields of study. So there's something for everyone. What are one of the biggest questions that students have for you? How to do research. A lot of the classes require um, students to look up magazine articles and books and that kind of thing and they really don't know all the resources we have so we connect them with it and help them gather it all together and we find it to be really helpful for them and so do they. Well, you said you had 50,000 books, so there's yes. obviously a lot here to sort through. A lot of good fiction. Yeah, and is there always someone here to help students find Oh, the librarians, for? that's probably students' best asset here at Delta. We're here to assist students on all of their uh, assignments or anything, other questions they have about doing research. Well, if they're all as friendly as you, I'm <laughs> sure the students will not Thank have you. a hard time getting acquainted here in the library. Thanks for talking with us today. Thank you. We're heading out now, but while you're here at Delta, be sure to check out all of the services the library provides. This really is a user-friendly place. You may have been to the Counseling Center before to register for classes, but we want to tell you about some extra services that are offered here. If you have a personal problem or an emergency comes up, Delta always has someone available to talk with you. In addition, for students with special needs, Delta has a Disability Services Office. Hi Mike, we're here for a stop on our tour today and we're wondering if you could tell us about the services that you provide to students. I'd be happy to Erin. I'm Director of Disability Services here at Delta. I think the easiest way to put it is that the whole philosophy of Delta and especially my office is to level the playing field for students so they have full access, equal opportunity uh, to perform at the college level. So that's not only multicultural concerns and, and gender concerns, but it certainly affects people with disabilities that are coming to Delta, knowing that they have some academic barrier or physical barrier that they've been challenged by, and they need a level playing field. Sometimes it can be literally the levelness associated with a mobility impairment, like I am challenged by every day when I come to work at Delta. You know, being able to get around the environment, being able to navigate my way. But it can also be um, challenges because of a learning disability or an emotional disability, something that, again, may hinder their performance in the, in the academic world unless they get some flexibility, some assistance, some accommodations that, that will match up that disability concern and, again, level the playing field. We just want to be another resource on campus, just like the library is, just like the fitness center is, just like the cafeteria is, so a student knows there's some place they can go for the types of supports they may need. Well, thank you so much for talking to us on our tour today. Oh, my and it's, pleasure. Yeah, and it sounds like students really should take advantage of this office and stopping by to make sure they make the most of their experience here at college. I think it's connecting the dots, you know, in terms of resources that are available. And I think you should go next door, uh, right around the corner, and talk to Marcy Carter, who is director of the Bridge Program. Our Bridge Program helps students who struggle in one or more areas when they come into the college. Uh, when they go through the admissions process, they have to take an assessment test, and that kind of tells us their educational level and where they're at. Students are sometimes referred to see me because in reading, writing, or math, they've indicated that they're going to struggle. Uh, sometimes students prefer to come and see me just for a little help transitioning into the college. Uh, it, the Bridge Program is really just available to help students get through that, that step, the first step in the first year of college, and just kind of helping, helping them get to the services that are available here at Delta, helping them make the transition into the college, and just kind of leading a helping hand all the way through. I imagine there's some students who are discouraged because they take their tests um, and they see where they're placing. Are there some who wonder, oh, can I really do this? Most students do. They, they really question whether or not college is for them, but that's why we have the services available. We have classes that meet their skill levels. We've got um, supports and tutoring that are available to help the students meet the needs, and so they're doing really well. Thank you so much, Marcy. Um, I think we're going to visit the Career Center next. That's just down the hall, right? Just down the hall. While we're heading over, have you ever thought ahead about when you graduate or complete your degree program at Delta and then want to apply for that first job? Or are you still wondering what to major in and what that first job might be? Well, let's head over and talk to some of those people who can help us answer the questions. This is the Career Center, where you can find career information and even take an assessment to find out what the best career might be. Hi Steve, can you tell new students what the Career Center can do to help them prepare for the career of their dreams? 
Yeah, you mentioned uh, people and their dream jobs, and I do get some people that come by here you know, with, with something in mind, and, and really what they want to do is do some research, and we can do that. As you can see behind me, I've got hundreds of books, I've got career files, we've just got tons of information that we can help people do the kind of research. But more often than not, people come in here because they don't have a career. You know, they really don't know what they want to go into. We're bombarded with ideas from our parents and our friends, from TV. There's, you know, hundreds of things to choose from, and it's hard. You know, it's hard to narrow that down. That's a, a big part of what we try to do here. Career planning, career decision making, no magic to it. You know, really our role in that is helping people gather the information that they need to feel comfortable, to feel confident with that career decision. And I think we have some really excellent tools to do that. There's two sides of that coin, and like I said, we've got books, and we've got files, and we've got computer databases. You know, you can't ask a person to choose a career until they know what is there to choose from, and we have lots of ways of doing that. But there's the other side of the coin, too, and it's the idea of what career is right for you. You know, we're all different people. We care about different things, like different things, value different things, and that has a, a big impact on our career satisfaction. Just to give you an example, this is a little brochure that I encourage students to come by and pick up all the time. This just outlines some of our career assessment programs, and these are really popular. So all three of these are free, painless, take about an hour, you know, out of the student's life, and they can be done right here in the Career Center. On the flip side of this card, I have a couple of internet-based programs that we can also give you free access to. They're just programs that we have subscriptions to, and we can give you a free account. So I'd encourage any student to come by. You know, just to look around, do some research, ask some questions, or set aside some time and do some of our career assessments. But we do have an outstanding employment services office, and as long as you're here, there might be a group of people you want to take some time and talk with. What we're here for is we can help you find a job either on campus, we can help you find a job off campus, a summer position, um, even a seasonal position for the holidays. We're, if you're a work-study student, we provide work-study assistance for employment. You can work on campus in one of our many offices, or you can work off campus at a nonprofit organization. We help you develop your resume, do mock interviews if you're kind of nervous about your first interview, and we also will get you registered in our computerized database. Delta also has some new programs to offer students. The Office of Student Engagement will help you get involved with college clubs and organizations on campus. But we'll start in the Writing Center, where you can always find someone ready to read your work. Hello, welcome to the brand new Delta College Writing Center Cafe, where you can bring your lunch, your coffee, and your paper and come talk writing with us. We are just off the commons on the lower level of the concourse near the courtyard. At the Writing Center Cafe, our slogan is, every writer needs a reader. So come talk writing with us, whether you're gathering ideas for an essay, whether you're putting a draft together, or you need some final revisions in your essay. Here at the Writing Center, we don't take appointments. It's walk-ins only. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday. Visit our website or call, and you can also email us. Be sure to check out our online Writing Center as well. Um, although if you've waited to the last minute and you've procrastinated, you probably want to come to the face-to-face -face writing center as most sessions will last right around 20 to 30 minutes. Be sure to bring your student ID. You have to have your student number in order to have a session. Um, if you don't have an ID, you can at least bring your schedule that will have the ID number on it too. We have six trained consultants that can help you with anything from MLA or APA documentation to brainstorming or some other pre-writing activity to just one more set of eyes to read through your essay. So be sure to come to the Writing Center. Welcome to the Office of Student Engagement. Here you'll find a lot of the resources that are intended to assist you outside the classroom and being successful here at the college, from campus life to assistance with writing. Many campus resources are found here in the Office of Student Engagement. For example, if you're interested in joining a club or organization or in multicultural services, Student Senate, Phi Theta Kappa have their offices here. One of the major areas here is also the home for the My Connection program. My Connection is a program that was began here in January of 2008 that works to partner students with coaches from around campus. So here is a mechanism for you to feel comfortable on campus. We know that learning exists outside the classroom and we want to make this as welcoming as possible. If you're interested in more information, please visit our website, myconnection.delta.edu or email us at myconnection at delta.edu. Have you ever wondered if you're qualified for any financial aid? 
Well, there are people right here at Delta who can help you find out and also figure out all of those intimidating forms. Here at the financial aid office at Delta College, we are committed in helping our students bridge the gap between their personal resources and the programs of financial aid that are available. Uh, we want students to understand that we are here to assist them on a daily basis if they need help applying for financial aid or just navigating through the actual process. Uh, the very first step in applying for any financial aid at Delta College is to complete the free application for federal student aid or better known as the FAFSA. And this is a form that's filled out on an annual basis. And it's very important to also know to apply for financial aid as early as possible because there can be federal deadlines, state deadlines, and also institutional deadlines. And with the financial aid process, there are numerous programs that are available, and they can range from grant assistance, scholarships, student loans, work study programs, and also payment plan options. So uh, if students at any point are uncomfortable with the process or just kind of want a little bit extra help, we are definitely here to, uh, you know, provide that service to them. And it's, uh, you know, we welcome students as they make that leap to start their college education. And uh, we are here to serve them. Our tour around Delta College wouldn't be complete without a stop by the brand new fitness center and pool. Now this is a really popular place for students and people in the community as well. Anyone who's trying to stay in shape. Now if you don't have a class in here, you may consider stopping by and taking a look around and maybe thinking about purchasing a student membership. Our last stop today takes us to a popular place on campus, Coffee and More, where I hear Professor Mary Beth Luby is meeting with some students right now. Hi, can I join you? Please join us. Okay. As Director of Developmental Education at Delta, I've asked a few former and current students to talk about their experiences, what it was like when they first came to Delta College. And I think they're going to agree with me that Delta has some wonderful services and does everything it can to help students succeed. When I came back to Delta, I had been out of school for at least 20 years. And as a wife and mother, I knew it wouldn't be easy for me. So what I did was I made up my mind that I was going to really reach my goal. And after being here for a while, I decided to get a job. And I uh, found one here in the TLC. And I tell you, it has really been encouraging to me. From, working, from being in school, working, and being a full-time mother, I found that it was really hard. But I noticed if you put your focus on what you want to do, you can do a good job. And to anyone who's going back, coming back to school now, I think the best thing for you to do is do it for yourself. Not put your mind on other people, but make sure that you know that your focus is on what you want to do and you'll succeed. Coming to Delta in the fall of 2005 as a homeschool graduate, I was a little unsure about what Delta would be like and what my experience would be like. I realized right off that Delta was unlike any other environment that I've ever been in. In a way, I had to learn different study skills and how to socialize differently. I also worried about the math aspect, but I didn't need to worry because the math professor here are so nice and they're so helpful as long as you pay attention in class and study hard. And there's also classes like Math 90 that help with study skills. They're basic learning skills for math and that helps you succeed. And also, I will be graduating this December with an associate's degree in liberal arts. And I wouldn't be here where I am today without all the great professors here. And so just remember that the professors here are here to help you. They're not very intimidating once you get to know them. I think that what has worked for me uh, the most is uh, just showing up to class, paying attention to what my teachers have to say, um, just getting a feel for how the class is going to go and not take it lightly. Uh, make sure I show up to class as much as I can, um, do my homework, and make sure that if I have any problems with it, to make sure that I talk to my instructor about it, uh, if I can get a hold of them at the right time, or if not, uh, go to the TLC Center or the uh, Writing Center. Um, they're always a big help. It's uh, free tutoring. 
um, which is great, a big plus. A lot of places charge a lot of money for that, so I definitely take advantage of it and advise anybody else to take advantage of, of it if they can. I'm going to give you what I consider the three keys to success here at Delta. The first key to success is getting to know your professor. Are you, if you're like anything like me, I took the initiative of staying after class, getting to know my professor, to build a relationship. The second key to success is Delta College has a lot of service here to offer. The third key to success is going to class regularly and studying. Going to class regularly is very vital because even though you may have a syllabus with due dates and deadlines, a pop-up quiz can, is subject to happen at any given time. You want to try and not push your homework aside and then get say you know tell yourself well I'll get to it later I'll get to it later because if you wait too long and then you don't you know you might find yourself not getting a full understanding of what you're trying to do and it might be at the last minute so you really don't want to wait and just push everything aside and be like well I'll just get to it later and again I would like to thank Delta College for all the services they have provided here for my freshman year as soon as I graduated high school I decided to attend Delta and I began at the Delta Ricker Center where the class atmosphere was fairly small and that really allowed for one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal interaction with students as well as the instructors um, and that basically laid the foundation for my studying skills and it helped me out a lot. Uh, I'm currently a student at Saginaw Valley and I feel like Delta was a great place to get, get that start and get that help. Thank you so much for sharing your stories today with all of the new students here at Delta. It sounds like you all came from really diverse backgrounds, but Delta really made a difference in all of your lives. So congratulations and best of luck to all of you in the future. Wow, it's been a really busy day here today, but we've met a lot of friendly, helpful people. Hopefully our little tour makes you feel a bit more comfortable finding your way around campus. There are a lot of wonderful services that are offered free to you as a student, but the first step is knowing how to find them. Thanks for spending some time with us here today. We hope your experience at Delta is great. And before we conclude, we have a message from Delta's president. Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Goodnell, president of Delta College, and I want to welcome each of you to Delta this semester. Delta is one of America's leading community colleges with many outstanding services. We know that you come to Delta with a dream to succeed in life, and we want to help you fulfill that dream. Please take advantage of the many free services Delta provides to help students succeed. Have a wonderful semester.